Uh, not quite as good in Sydney, I'm afraid. We had uh, dull weather right through the day. The rain uh, went away apparently about midnight last night and we've had no problem since. And the track was upgraded from heavy to slow shortly before the running of the first event today. All right, uh, this is the Hill Stakes at Wait for Age and Johnny Marshall, one of Australia's most popular jockeys, resumed riding today after a four months absence through injury and he's ridden two seconds so far and he's on only version in the race coming up. Ken, any hope only version? He has, John. He's probably the second pick. I've got my money on Stargazer. Stargazer is the short price favourite, but I wouldn't stop you backing only version. Let's look at the prices on the tote at the moment. Number one superimposed was Scratch this morning because of the heavy track, which in turn hasn't turned out as bad as we thought. Eastern Classic is a 7 1 chance from the David Hayes stable. Marimula Bay at 11 to 1. Wright Missile at 20 to 1. Stargazer at $1.80. Odds of 5 to 4 on. And I reckon that's pretty fair odds. I'm on him. Majestic Boy at 7 to 1. Only version is returning at the moment $4.20. Second favourite into about 13 to 4. 60 to 1 Poetic Chant and 60 to 1 Latte Heights. I expect Stargazer to be near the lead all the way, especially when they get to the winning post. Here's John. He's a lovely horse, Stargazer, a very imposing type of horse. And uh, he won a race, he's won three on heavy tracks, and I can remember him winning one day here at Rose Hill under atrocious conditions. That grey horse is right missile, but his uh, the boy of the moment, Johnny Marshall, who broke an arm and punctured a lung in a very nasty fall at Warwick Farm back in May. And this is his first day back after that long absence, one of Australia's best respected jockeys, the winner of one Sydney Jockeys Premiership, and of course uh, he's been number one Sydney rider for Bart Cummings for quite a few years now and uh, just two or three seasons back he and Bart enjoyed uh, phenomenal success with horses like Bozam and Sky Chase. Now John Marshall has moved up on only version on the outside of the field. Poetic Chant faces up well with Marimbula Bay. And they're set for the hill stakes. The gates fly, they're off, and Latte Heights a little bit slow to move at the start. Eastern Classic from the inside bounded out in front. Majestic Boy began nicely, but he doesn't want to be too close to the lead. Stargazer is striding up now on the outside of Eastern Classic. Marimbula Bay three deep going into that first turn. But as they sweep to the back, only versions even wider. No one's desperate to be in front. Marimbula Bay takes over now, narrowly from only version. Eastern Classic third on the inside of Stargazer. Poetic Chant is striding around the outside. A length and a half to Majestic Boy, followed by Latte Heights, who's pulling hard. And two and a half away, last right missile as they go down the back at the 1100 mark. And the lightly weighted only version strides to the lead under a stranglehold, in front by a length and a quarter to Poetic Chant. A neck back is Marimbula Bay, followed by Stargazer on the outside of Eastern Classic. Then Latte Heights on the inside of Majestic Boy and Wright Missile is last. As they approach the 800 metres mark, only version the leader. Nearly a length to Poetic Chant, a bit more than a length to Marimbula Bay and a neck away Stargazer. Majestic Boy is being allowed to stride up three deep, followed by Eastern Classic. Latte Heights is flat to the boards now, second last and Wright Missile is last as they near the turn. 500 left to run, only version the leader. He's got a good hold of it. About a head on Poetic Chant, Stargazer three deep, Eastern Classic behind them. Majestic Boy has to go very wide on the corner. Heads a turn for home. Only version ducked away from the fence. There's a run for Eastern Classic. Further out, Stargazer looming up now. And Stargazer quickly raced past Eastern Classic. Only version gave in very feebly. Stargazer is just the leader. Eastern Classic is kicking again. Stargazer, Eastern Classic. Eastern Classic on the inside again. Got the upper hand over Stargazer. And hands and heels, it's Eastern Classic getting home by a neck to Stargazer. About four lengths away, right missile who ran a big race followed by majestic boy only version then poetic chant and latte heights and marimbula bay pulled up with the tail enders the winner is eastern classic ridden by neil payne eastern classic to pay eight dollars eighty and one ninety stargazer number five a place dividend of a dollar ten and four third right missile a place dividend of three fifty and that was the hill stakes on wide world of sports Thank you, Johnny Tap. More racing from Rose Hill throughout the afternoon. Rose Stakes, a three-year-old Phillies race over 1,500 metres. Triskay, again, a very warm favourite, a shock failure at Randwick last start. Can she make amends for it, Ken? 
I think she can, John. As much as seven or four was bet, but let's look at the tote now. And she's into even money. She just kept tumbling, Triskay. I hope the punters know what they're doing. Triglet was scratched. Berberia eight to one. Whist five to one. She's getting out. Berberia's been well backed in the ring. Down to Rhythmic Charm, 14. Let's hurry, 20. 100 Sunland Express. New Acquaintance out to six to one. Fizem's Folly, 11. Osmart, 12s. The others are all roughies, and they're about to jump. Here's Johnny. All right, Ken, uh, one of those fillies uh, just held them up momentarily. It might have been Purcelli, but I think they're set now. There's Sunland Express moving in. Purcelli goes up. Berberia is going to be the last one into the gates, and they're about set and ready for the AWA T-Row Stakes. They look good now, started getting onto his rostrum, ready to dispatch the field. Red Emotion in the inside gate wants to sit back. Couple of the riders not ready, calling out to the starter. Red Emotion wants to sit back, but they're off in the T-Rows. And one of the first out is Burberia, quickly into stride. And scooting to the lead is Zuwanda Purcelli moves to second. New acquaintance handy, Red Emotion driving up along the fence, followed by Whisked. And then Osmart, who's a bit worse than midfield, back with it, Fizam's Folly. At the head of the others then came Euphoric on the fence. Triskay is a long way back in the early stages, and so is Burberia, who's trapped deep. Second last is Let's Hurry, and Rhythmic Charm is last in the run to the first turn at the 1,000 mark and Zoo Wanda the leader at a very good gallop led by about three to new acquaintance a head back on the inside red emotion a length to Purcelli nearly a length to Whist on the inside followed by Osmart Euphoric Burberia three deep are starting to make ground in a hurry around that corner Triskay is a long way back in the field today followed by Sunland Express and then Fizam's Folly and Let's Hurry is now dropped out to be last as they come to the 600 mark and Zoo Wanda is well clear led by three on new acquaintance red emotion third hard ridden and then whisked two lengths away Purcelli at the head of the others Berberia and Triskay about five deep on the turn into the straight they've turned for home now and Zoo Wanda is about to be tackled by new acquaintance whisked on the outside looming up quickly and then Red Emotion and now Dittman lets the favourite go Triskay she's made ground quickly but whisked has got a break at the 200 mark he's got to pull the whip on Triskay Triskay is coming after whisked whisked is still in front Triskay dying on a run she can't pick up the leader and whisked is going Going to score a very well-deserved win. She drew away to beat Triskay. Berberia a distant third. Let's hurry a good run. And then Osmart, Red Emotion, New Acquaintance, Fizam's Folly, Sunland Express, well back, followed by Rhythmic Charm, and then Euphoric and Purcelli, and Zoo Wanda back at the tail. Well, Whisked has been a very unlucky filly, and she turned the tables on Triskay with a vengeance today. Whisked, ridden by Gavin Duffy, to pay 570 and 180 and uh, thoroughly deserving of the win. She just got that break on Triskay, and uh, Triskay got to her quarters and couldn't improve one ounce more. Triskay to pay 130, and three Berberia third to pay 240. That's the way they finished in the T Rose Stakes at Rose Hill as we go back to Ken Sutcliffe at Phillip Island. Thanks, Play race six at Rose Hill coming up, and uh, we just wait for one horse to move into the stalls. That was just Trish. She goes in, and they're all set. Now the starter about to release the field, the gates open and they're off and running. English Garden a little bit slow, Pabulum dwelt and just Trish began tardily. Nimble Touch bounded out in front and led over the crossing from Paul Landick and Show Mint on the outside. Tanzam is getting into a good spot on the fence, followed by Curso, Princeville a bit wide in the run to the first turn. Then Sarah Fay and Trissette, followed by Pabulum, just Trish and English Garden as last after a slow start. To the back, 1500 out and the nine-year-old Nimble Touch in front pulling a bit, led by about a length to show Mint and three quarters away Paul Landick Curso moving around them as they head to the back and then Princeville getting in to be in a good spot on the outside of Tanzam, a bit more than a length to Trissette and neck to Sarah Fay on the fence a length and a quarter to Pabulum, one and a quarter to English Garden and a head away last on the outside is just Trish as they go down the back, Nimble Touch has been fired up by show Mint and Curso who makes a line of three a length and a half away Paul Landick getting the run of the race on the inside of Princeville one and a half Tanzam, a half to Trissette, a length to Sarah Fay, three quarters to Pabulum, one and a half to English Garden and a head away last on the outside just Trish as they get to the 800 mark where the grey show mint in the centre went to a narrow lead over Nimble Touch and Curso who's covered a fair bit of ground followed by Princeville, Paul Landick has bailed up on the fence at the moment, Tanzam is now being scrubbed along, they're starting to bunch up and then Trissette and Sarah Fay followed by Pabulum, English Garden and just Trish, a packing field 
on the turn into the straight and show Mint as the leader. Princeville in second place looks pretty good as they turn for home and then Curso, Paul Landick followed by Nimble Touch but in the straight 300 out and Princeville has canted past show Mint. Princeville shot to the lead at the 200 mark. Paul Landick is running on well but Johnny Marshall looking for that winner on his first day back and the big chestnut Princeville had exploded away from them and it's welcome back Jay Marshall. Princeville down to the line is going to win very easily by four lengths to Paul Landick. In third place, I'd say Pabulum just in front of Just Trish and then Trisette Curso. English Garden, Show Mint and Tanzam. And Sarah Fay is last of, the, last of the main bunch and tailed off Nimble Touch. Righto, Darrell, thank you. Race 7, the AWA Shannon Quality at Rose Hill. Only uh, one horse to move up now. In fact, no horses because they're all in and the starters coming over to release the field. And on the tote, the favourite is number four, Mr. Megabucks, Shane Dye's mount at five to two. Starter ready, Billy Dale has the button. Gates fly open, they're off and running. Tiako Pearl dipped when the starter set go and is a clear last out of the barrier. Our Poverty Bay began like a flash and is quickly in front over Dixon Street. Coconut Shy began well and so did Boasting and Campania. Happy Sailing and Go Bush are just behind them. Prince Salieri in the leading bunch. And then Mr. Megabucks and High Regard, Noble Paradise and Tiako Pearl quickly picking them up. The pace slowed very suddenly and Dixon Street pulled his way to the front. Go Bush has trapped out deep and is now being allowed to stride up closer to the lead. In third place, our Poverty Bay on the inside of Coconut Shy, a length and a half to high regard, followed by Campania Prince Salieri. At the head of the others then going around that top turn is Happy Sailing. Further back, Mr. Megabucks and Noble Paradise and back at the tail, Tiako Pearl and Flicker's Dream as midfield and racing very wide on the track. To the 700 mark, Dixon Street just let go Bush, high regard in third place, then our Poverty Bay, Coconut Shy. Behind those, Prince Salieri between horses. Flicker's Dream is wide. On the fence, boasting and further back, Campania followed by Noble Paradise, Happy Sailing. And Mr. Megabucks is looking at a lot of tails as they turn for home. Dixon Street is the leader, tackled by Go Bush on the outside. Go Bush raced to the front at the 200 mark. Our Poverty Bay on the fence, running on, followed by High Regard and Mr. Megabucks. But the New Zealander, Go Bush, has raced clear. Go Bush has got them floundering. High Regard and Dixon Street can't do any better. And this pretty little grey is going to trot in go bush he won by four lengths to high regard dixon street third fourth mr megabucks and then prince salieri happy sailing from noble paradise our poverty bay campania flicker's dream well back boasting and tiako pearl and coconut shy weakened out of it to finish with the tail enders thank you john tap good race call type of horsepower and the four-legged action this afternoon was at Mooney Valley. The first of the quarter of a million dollar races was the Lauren Perrier for the Phillies. This is how Brian Martin saw the finish of the 1200 metre event. As they come to the bend, there's three across the track here with me, has a nose in front of the middle, from PR they girl, Pack Lani and then Mahassen from off balance, they straighten up, and with me in front with about 180 to go from PR they girl, Johnson called on the filly and she burst clear with me, she's home, she raced two in front of PR they girl, Century Pike, but with me much too good, with me a brilliant performance by two and a half lengths to PR they girl, a head away third Century Pike. Yes, with me was far too good for them, giving Malcolm Johnson only his second win at the Valley, the last one being the 1980 Cox Plate aboard Kingston Town. Now let's go to the fee and stakes. The leader here now, Stylish Century, but on the outside, our Westminster's grabbed him, and here's Better Loosen up with a sweeping run. Around the outside, and Ark Regal trying to get out as our Westminster put his head in front of Stylish Century. Better Loosen up is starting to join in, and then Ark Regal trying to get out, runs into a dead end. In the straight now, it's our Westminster, Stylish Century. Better Loosen up getting to them on the outside. The favourite Better Loosen up gets up to Stylish Century, who fights back with our Westminster. Here's a go down on the post. Dead heat. Better Loosen up, Stylish Century. I couldn't separate them. Yes, a thrilling finish with the favourite Better Loosen Up catching Stylish Century and our Westminster in the shadows of the post. Now let's check the doubles and quaddies and the extra double on eight and one.